Good morning. Good morning. The category that I'm representing here in the tip is venture capital. And the question that I'm often asked by people that are looking for money is, what is it actually that investors want? And I'm going to dive into that today to show you what is it that investors want. Um, the investor's dream, of course, is when they invest into something is that the stock goes up, the company, company's value goes up, and uh, that is where I am assisting. Um, I am, as a venture capitalist, at the crossroad between investors and inventors. Uh, you heard me often speak about I'm interested in meeting inventors. Uh, I'm also working with the founder uh, of, a, of a certain project. So it can be an inventor, a project founder, and the investor. And I'm at that crossroad in between those. Um, we can have different kinds of investors. And I want to explain to you uh, how they are categorized. Uh, usually at the beginning you have the founder or visionary. And when he starts something, he uses his or her resources and his savings in order to get an idea started. Then you usually bring in what is called family and friends. And those family and friends, uh, you can either loan from them, from them or, have an, or an investment is being made from those family and friends. The next stage would be the so-called angels or angel investors that are coming and investing into your venture. The next stage after that is called venture capital. And that is what I'm usually representing. And then after that you have an area that is called private equity. And all that increases in size and uh, we're going to see that. The following six slides um, are with courtesy from a colleague of mine that is working in the venture capital arena. His name is Brian Rosenberg. And uh, I liked some of his graphics very much, so uh, I'm going to display it here. Because it shows very beautiful how this is actually related. Uh, the sources of funds over a life cycle. On the very left hand side, you see the timeline. There's the seed stage, and then the startup phase, and then you have an early growth phase, and then sustained growth. It starts on the seed and startup side with pre revenue, which usually is covered through the founder's savings and friends and family. And then you have the angel around. And then you have, have the venture capital round, which usually covers startup, early growth, and sustained growth. So that is how the capital and the stages are related with each other. Uh, what are the amounts of money that can flow in those different stages? So when you bootstrap, you usually are using somewhere between zero to a hundred thousand. That's bootstrapping. The angel seed is usually somewhere between 50,000 to 1.5 million. The series A, if you raise a series A, then that's between 2 to 7 million dollars. A series B is between 5 and 15 million dollars. And a series C is between 5 and 50 million dollars or more. So you can also see again on the bottom seed stage, startup stage, early growth, sustained growth, pre revenue, and then where the revenue starts and it becomes profitable. This is actually good for you to know as a general knowledge because if you start a project yourself, these are some good guidelines here. Um, what is it that a VC, a venture capitalist, is looking for? Uh, number one, the people are extremely important. So, a VC is looking for an A team. Uh, the team that you're putting together, you are the main visionary, but you need to surround yourself with a good team of people. If you have a good advisory board, that's very important. You need to have the right skills. It's important if you can show previous successes in your business, because the VC can then trust in that what you have already shown that you were successful in. The opportunity needs to be there. That means a market needs to be there. It needs to be a sustainable business and not just uh, something that goes and flies by night. 
there needs to be a business model there, so you need to invest into actually establishing a business model and showing it. And the, um, the competition is important so that you can show how are you different from the competition. The context is interesting or important. Is it technology? Uh, and is that what you're creati creating possible to be acquired in the future through an M&A, merger and acquisition? Or can you do maybe an IPO, which is an initial public offering, which is to sell your shares for the first time at the stock exchange and make it a public company? Uh, these are all important questions that you, as, as the owner of a project, if you start something, you should ask yourself these questions. Then the deal is important because the VC is looking for a deal, he's investing because they, they are investing their money that they earned, they're taking a risk in investing into your company and they want to be paid very well. Now let's look at how does a VC want to be paid. The market size is very important. The market needs to be a large market. So if you are in a niche market that is very small, uh, it's unlikely that a VC is going to invest. The market needs to be large, in the billions uh, and growing. The VC stretch goal is a 10 times return. So in other, time, in other ways, if, you, if an investor is investing $10 million, they want to see 100 million coming back. That is a return, a stretch goal return for a venture capitalist. If they own a 25% stake in the company that they are investing in, so let's say the, the valuation of the company when this investor, this venture capitalist is investing is $40 million, they give $10 million into the company, so they have a stake of 25% in the company. They would like to see a hundred million coming back to them. In other words, in five years or in seven years, when the company does an IPO, they would like to see that there's 400 million being paid for the company so that they get a hundred million for their 25% stake. Make sense? Okay. So this can only be achieved if there is a big opportunity in a huge market. Um, high company to funding ratio. For every 100 companies that are looked at, 70 are tossed out, 30 are getting a first call, 10 are getting a second call in the meeting, and one gets funded. So VCs are looking at a lot of companies. The odds are against the entrepreneur. Uh, what are hot sectors? Digital media and internet, clean tech, life science, biotech, devices, mobile and e-commerce, local are hot. What is not hot? Semiconductors, hardware, consumer packaged goods. I'm being asked, what is it that you are doing, Wolfgang? Which sectors are you actually working in right now? These are some of the uh, companies that I'm working with. Renewable energy. Um, this company wants to uh, create through renewable energy 45 gigawatts of power all over the world. Uh, this company is looking for 200,000 in the first stage, in the, in the next stage it's between 1 to 60 million for the first project in Houston. Uh, another project that I'm working on is a, st a store expansion project of a supermarket a kind of chain. They're looking uh, between 2 to 25 million. Uh, medical inventions. I'm working with two different medical inventions companies. One is looking for 2.5 million and the other uh, company is looking for 500,000. Uh, hair and beauty. Uh, essential products, this company, and we have Amy here today. Uh, she's looking for 5.5 million and she has a stunning investor's deck with a lot of numbers and a fantastic team put together. Outstanding investment. Film funding. I'm uh, looking here for two or three different films. The, the films that I'm interested in, in learning about or knowing about are family friendly films. A, I have a very narrow niche of films, but it's family friendly films. Uh, technology. Uh, this is a, a company that does with touch screens, uh, 500,000 they're looking. And this is the A list for a VC. 
what they want to know is an executive summary, business plan, marketing plan, team bios, user funds, five-year performer, SWOT analysis, competition report, three business referrals, and an exit strategy. And that is what I give you. Overwhelming joy. Thank you. Thank you, Wolfgang.